factoring quadratics over the rational numbers. Our first example is to factor x squared minus 1. Since x squared is a perfect square, 1 is a perfect square, and they are separated by a minus sign, we would use the difference of squares formula. The formula suggests x squared minus a squared can be rewritten as quantity x minus a times quantity x plus a. Using a equal 1 in our situation, we have x squared minus 1 is equal to x minus 1 times x plus 1. Our next example asks us to factor 2x squared minus 15x plus 7. Using guidelines often discussed in algebra classes, we do the following. Multiply 2 and 7 to obtain 14, list out the factors of 14, and determine which pair sums to negative 15. Listing out the factor pairs of 14, we have 1 and 14, negative 1, negative 14, 2 and 7, and finally negative 2, negative 7. Now we build a table to see which pair adds up to negative 15. We have 1 and 14 that adds up to positive 15, negative 1, negative 14, which adds up to negative 15, 2 and 7, which adds up to 9, and negative 2, negative 7, which adds up to negative 9. So negative 1, negative 14 is our pair. Now we can rewrite the negative 15x as negative 1x minus 14x and factor by grouping. Under our rewriting, we have 2x squared minus 15x plus 7 is equal to 2x squared minus x minus 14x plus 7. From the first two, we may factor out an x, leaving us with 2x minus 1 as an additional factor. From the last two, we may factor out a negative 7, which also leaves us with a 2x minus 1 as an additional factor. Since both of these share the quantity 2x minus 1 as a factor, we may also factor that out, leaving us with the quantity x minus 7 times the quantity 2x minus 1. And we now have the factorization. Our third example asks us to factor x squared minus 1 sixth x minus 1 third. First thing we'll do is factor out 1 sixth from the expression. This will lead to a quadratic with integer coefficients. Then we shall follow the guidelines stated in example 2. Thus, x squared minus 1 sixth x minus 1 third is equal to 1 sixth times the quantity 6x squared minus x minus 2. Now we need to find two integers whose sum is negative 1 and whose product is negative 12. That would be negative 4 and positive 3. Now that we have our integers, we may rewrite the middle term as 3x minus 4x. And that is what we've done here in the first step. Upon completing this, we can see that in the first pair, we can factor out a 3x, which leaves us with quantity 2x plus 1, and from the second pair, we can factor out a negative 2, which also leaves us with a quantity 2x plus 1. This quantity 2x plus 1 is shared among these terms. So we may factor that out as well, and we have our factorization as 1 sixth times the quantity 3x minus 2 times the quantity 2x plus 1. Our last example asks us to factor x squared plus 8x minus 6. If we attempt to follow the guidelines stated in example 2, we need to find two integers whose product is negative 6 and whose sum is 8. If we list out the integer factors of negative 6 and sum them, we have the following table. We have negative 1 and 6, which adds up to 5. We have 1 and negative 6, which adds up to negative 5. We have 2 and negative 3, which adds up to negative 1. And we also have negative 2 and positive 3, which adds up to positive 1. None of these sum to 8, so this quadratic does not factor over the rational numbers. Thank you for, Thank you for watching this attention. video on Zoom Math software for factoring quadratics over the set of rational numbers.